On Monday, the Minnesota House is expected to vote on a bill that could change driving habits for millions of Minnesotans. It is a ban on handheld cell phones while driving. But will it lower distracted driving deaths in Minnesota? Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. In the five seconds it takes for a driver to look down at a text message at 55 miles an hour, the car will have traveled the length of a football field. The driver might as well be blindfolded. We know that this type of legislation works. It's the reason state lawmakers are tapping the brakes on handheld cell phones while driving, which Minnesota families blame for the deaths of their loved ones. My brother's life was worth more than someone's choice to get distracted for 30 seconds. His life was worth more than that. And a punishment of a misdemeanor or careless driving, and his punishment was his life, his entire life. Now a new law could ban Minnesota drivers from using any handheld cell phones while in traffic or face a $225 fine and possibly a felony. Still allowed voice-activated cell phones and hands-free devices. There are many kinds of distracted driving, and the Minnesota Office of Traffic Safety reports it is a factor in 20% of crashes. Even worse, it's responsible for an average of 53 deaths and more than 200 serious injuries every year. The question, do hands-free cell phones lower those numbers? Hands-free cell phones is the law in 16 states and the District of Columbia. And new research shows 12 of those states had a decrease in fatalities almost immediately. Here are the numbers. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration study found highway deaths were down 16% in the two years after passing a ban on handheld cell phones. That's Reality Check.